Before you import your contacts into the Marketo lead database, it's important to ensure that all the custom fields are available to which you're going to map your data. In order to check this, you'll need to head over to the admin section of your Marketo instance. The admin area is indicated by a button in the top right hand corner. If this button does not appear on your screen, you do not have sufficient privileges to access this area. You will either need to gain these permissions from your administrator or ask them to perform this task on your behalf. Once you click the button, you'll be taken to the admin area. You'll notice that there's a menu down the left hand side here and one of those particular menu items is field management. On clicking the field management button you'll be presented with a selection area. Down the right hand side you'll notice that these are all the fields that exist within your Marketo instance. Some of these fields will be default fields for example email address, first name, last name, company name, telephone number, but you may find that you want to add additional fields to the database to match the data that you have on your CSV or Excel file. To make sure that your field is in the Marketo database, all you'd need to do is type a portion of the field name into the search bar. In this case, we're going to search for first name, and you'll notice that under the lead info folder, we have a first name field, so we know that that one exists. We can also check another one, email address and you'll notice that once again under lead info we have email. If you had one for example like industry sector and that doesn't exist it will display on the screen that there are no matches for industry sector. To create a new field you'll notice that there is a button on the screen in the sub bar here that is titled new custom field. Once you select this, you'll pre be presented with a pop-up. This pop-up has three mandatory fields. Don't worry too much about the API name because this will be created for you once you've populated the name field. The first thing you need to do is select the type of field that you're looking for by pressing this drop-down. You'll be presented with another menu of options. From Boolean fields to dates to integers to text fields, Whichever one you're looking for, you need to make the selection on this field. In this case, we'll select Boolean because we have a true or false field that we're going to add in here. We're going to say this particular field is called single opt-in. And you'll notice that the API name is populated based on the information you provided in the name field. Once you create this, once you've actually populated all of the fields, all you need to do is hit, hit the create button and the field will be created for you. Please be aware that you are unable to delete any of these new custom fields that you create. You can hide them from anybody that is actually going to be using the database in addition to yourself so they cannot mistakenly choose this field if it was created in error. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button below and remember to subscribe for future notifications of upcoming videos.